Farm Guy here with the new mod test for Farming Simulator 22. This is bale and pallet storage. This is a new item that have became available or became installed on all platforms, PC, Mac, and console for base game with the 1.90 uh, with the latest update, Giant's latest update. That's what how we got it. And uh, once you install the update, this will be car become part of your base game. So no need to install it or find it uh, on the mod hub because if you go into not there your construction menu under sheds, buildings and sorry buildings and silos. Here it is, the second one from the end. Bale and pallet storage. $29,000 to put down. You can put down nearly as many as you want. Now, um, what was I going to say? Yes. Oh, uh, I did have a, a review of this in my... Uh, so if you said I've done this before, yes, I did an, a video on the update package, what contained in there, and this was in it. However, this is a separate video just for the bale and pallet storage in case you just wanted to know specifically about this mod and make it easier to find in my videos. Now, what can we all do with this? Well, bale and pallet storage is really quite simply and literally what it does. Uh, we have a selection of bales and pallets. We even have some straw bales here. So any bales, even cotton, even cotton bales or the wood um, chip, wood chip bales, which I don't have right here, but those also do work we're gonna have a bunch of different stuff here and it's quite easy to do really literally you see this white or these yellow hazard marker area and this input area here well that is where it goes and it very easily just bring the item over there and it literally just disappears instantly and if you look at the back uh, it sorts itself over at the back now I have 19 items. It's uh, 250 items, not capacity or liters, but the capacity is items. So if they're large bales like this, you can put 250 of them in there. They will all fit theoretically, or you can have mix and match. We have lettuce, even partial, as you can see, even partial um, pallets. Although I think it does count as one pallet. So if you have a partial pallet, it's um, it's still going to count as one. So I would suggest that full pallets only unless they, you don't have a choice. So uh, as these all things all go in there, even grapes. Um, so the only one thing that um, I did mention before, I did the, the furniture. Well, furniture goes in there. We got furniture yeah no problem um planks uh i don't have any planks i thought i got planks planks do not go in so if you're having trouble with planks mm, not going in here well that's doesn't uh that they don't go in there uh the the global uh, lizard global goods i tried it it doesn't it just it's just like no <laughs> but I did try it. That would have been cool. You could store a lot then, but uh, that's okay. That's fine. We got a parcel thing of furniture. Yep, that goes in there too. So, uh, as you can see, uh, the only way you can really see what's in there, it won't show up on your menu. If you look in here under your prices, uh, it's not in a silo in, the, in your typical silo, as it were. It's not in your traditional silo type inventory. You have to have your, um, I'll show you here. There we go. Come on. Up, up we go. Up we go to our menus. We have help window on. Field information on. Turn your field information on and you will see this when you come up to it. It'll tell you your total capacity. I have 27 out of 250 and then all of what I have in there. So I have uh, pallets, uh, nine egg pallets with a total of 1400 liters all together. And uh, furniture, lettuce, grapes. So you have lettuce, two, two, um, Two pallets of lettuce at 500 liters and one pallet of lettuce at 499 liters. See that? Furniture. Also furniture. I have one pallet of a partial pallet of 169 liters and 
Um, let's see here. Furniture, furniture. I have two furniture pallets at a thousand liters. Right. So, do, 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 do eggs. That's fourteen hundred liters per pallet, not total. So that that's giving me per pallet. Grape juice, grapes. Uh, again, grape juice. Uh, one pallet of seventy-eight liters. Uh, six pallets of four hundred and thirty-two liters. One bale of straw at 11,000 liters, and two others. Right. So, okay, so how, <laughs> carrying on here, uh, how do we get the stuff out? Well, of course, this is here, and that is, you have to go up to it. Press L3, and now you can scroll through. What do I want to pull out? A pallet of lettuce. Why, two pallets of lettuce? Press your X. And here they are, our two pallets of lettuce. You want to put them back in? No problem. That's very easily done, like so. Come back in here. What else do we got in here? Eggs, nine. So I only want five pallets of eggs. And here they are. Pop out, just like so. A little messy, but no problem. Put them back in there. Now, it's not letting me in. So it doesn't let you in there, at least not in the traditional sense but there is a trick which i will show you and it involves something like this it doesn't have to be this but the trick is you have to get your driver's door very close to the building and the trick is now you get out by pressing circle and guess what? Now I'm inside and I can go ahead and see exactly what I got. Oh, I got some eggs. We got some partial. Pa it's not going to show you what it is, as in uh, the field information is not going to show up. But you can physically. Oh, I got lettuce. That's grape juice. Some lettuce here again. Uh, this. Um, I don't remember what that is. Um, we have bales in here, obviously. Right, so how do you get back out? Just toggle left and left again, and we got into our tractor, so toggle out of it, and that's how you get out. But that's kind of a kind of a neat, neat little trick I thought I'd show you. Um, right, what else can we do? Oh, um, yes, bulk filling. So uh, if you want to put a bunch of them in there, uh, the pallets won't auto load into there in bulk. However, if you have a bunch of bales, say, of various types as well, it doesn't have to be of one kind, uh, let's go, come on, attach, there we go, uh, transport, operating, so operating position, let's fill this up with uh, just a bunch of bales, there we go. So 28 bales, round bales, of various types. Now what's nice about this is, uh, so let's put these bales in here and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on here. Let's see if I can sneak them kind of into that trigger area. Most of them went in there. And we just need to uh, move it over. There we go. Move them over a little bit. now. We have silos that uh, do take bales, but uh, what they do is they bail, what they call bale busters. They turn it into loose ba loose straw or loose product, and when you take it out, it's loose. It doesn't stay bales. But this is a true bale storage round bale for them. Let's take them out. Hey, A, pop them out back into bales. So they store as bales and they come out back out as bales. Now, <clears throat> because they don't really exist there, you can have 250 bales in here and it won't count towards your bale, um, your bale count or your 200 bale limit. So all you need really is to have a few of these around your property um, and it solves your bale count problem uh, very easily uh, at a bit of a cost of course but with the um, 
the bail uh, the next season um, DLC coming the gore gore pack or gore something some kind of a bail pack coming again um, and uh, you're gonna be able to use this nicely to store bales uh, that don't count towards your bail count hmm I said to count a lot of times um, so there you go I think that should wrap it wraps wrap it wrap it up wrap it up already thank you all for watching that's the bale and pallet storage now a base game um, item for all platforms thank you all for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now